Good. Well, there have been a lot of seminal UFC moments inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight. Should be a good one. Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Lands a nice jab there. All right, so a classic stylistic matchup here, wrestler versus boxer, and that is not the way the boxer wanted to start. A beautiful takedown by the wrestler to get things going. The boxer needed to defend takedown number one. He did not do that, so expect many more takedowns going in his direction. Oh, man, what a strike from the bottom. Gotta be careful here. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Big ground and pound. Evans is in half court. Ground and pound the hammer Mark Coleman would be proud. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land in the top position. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great crowd strikes here. Evans gets caught by that straight punch there. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Left hand is on point. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Pretty strong jab there by Short. What a beautiful high kick that landed there. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but what a start for this man tonight. Aggressive to a fault. Staying technical, though, and very accurate with his strikes as well. Good start for him here tonight. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Oh, yes, it is a lost up in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's going right from the jet, too. All right, so another winning jab right there. Snapping his head back like a Pez dispenser. You can tell he was a former boxer. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, just open it up on him now. An uppercut in! Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Leg kick now. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Continuing to go to the head. Oh, nice take on the fence. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Picture oh, perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those he might. Be I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Get the half guard. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Five minutes in the books. 
spot. Arnold gets punched into that clinch this round. Right? He has no answer for your clinch. He's not defending the right way. He's open for those knees, those elbows. All of that is working great. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, let's get to round two. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he goes. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. And now some separation. Leach advantage was his at the outset, and he was able to take advantage there with the punch. To the head. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, nice. Oh, good block there. Just over three minutes now to go. Evans going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Loaded up on that one and landed. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up right. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Combinations here. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, nice hammer fist there by Evans. Two minutes now to go in round two. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take you down very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They've worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and it's showing right now. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Evans. Different round in the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown oh, soon come on. Spot on the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Evans' his nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Another takedown land. Oh, 
Nice positional control here. Like that strike from the bottom fighter got the crowd's attention. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, hammer fist here by Evans. Lands the ground and pound strike. Final seconds here of round two. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Evans is looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Oh, nice kick. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that thing. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Takedown defense holds up. All right, so now we start to see some bruising here out of Torres. Push kick there to the body. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Just misses with a left hook there. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Work, guys. Nice jab there to the body by Evans. Takedown defense is there. Evans going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Just over three minutes to go. Evans' eyes starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Gotta capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. Don't get them as often as you'd like. So if you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the shot. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed you. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jab, pop the right hand, just touch, 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 and then boom, sit down on that hook. He's going to be trying to find it again. You can see him setting up his opponent, trying to get the hands to drop so he can drop that hook over the top. Choi's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Oh, a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those. Oh, he hurt him again. 
Both guys appeared to land there. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the team. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and punch. Oh! He's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Right find a way that you can recover. Choi's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to gap wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch him. You see him. You can see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut. And it's starting to open up more and more as the fight goes on. The ground strike starting to pile up. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Evans' is cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Oh. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Choi's in half goal. Oh, he keeps attacking that left eye. Now it's starting to close. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over the 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Evans' cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right for that knockdown. Perfect. Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Oh, big shot's getting through! Nice. Takedown defense holds up. Nice job by him defensively there. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Shooting for the takedown here. Evans is blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the... Oh! And back to his feet. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And just misses with that big right hand. He's hurt again. Big, big shots landed by him now. Three minutes to go. He's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Well, the crowd 
continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved. Okay. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that. Uh, yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Under two minutes to go. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to... Oh, huge elbow! You need to fight down! Got to be careful here. This man is landing through with Brian Powell. But the hook can't stop it anywhere. Holy smokes. Unbelievable. Well, make no mistake about it. He is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It was amazing, John. It was amazing. Let's go to Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 41 seconds of round number 4. He played the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy.